Thank you, Simon. Thanks very much. Now, people are being warned to stay away from a 30-mile stretch of the River Trent after it was polluted with cyanide and raw sewage. Scientists are monitoring the river between Stoke-on-Trent and the village of Yoxall in Staffordshire. Thousands of fish have died and there are fears also about other wildlife. Let's go to our correspondent, Matt Cook, who's there beside the Trent. And uh, Matt, how on earth could this have happened? Well, investigation is underway at the moment, but what we know now is that a 30-mile stretch of the River Trent here in Staffordshire has been contaminated. Seven Trent waters say that earlier in the week, their sewage plant up in Stoke-on-Trent was contaminated by chemical cyanide. And now, as you say, that has led to thousands of fish being killed on the river. Well, to give us more detail is David Lowe from the Environment Agency. David, how exactly did this happen, this contamination? Well, we'll just, we've got a team of investigators uh, in Stoke-on-Trent at the moment looking uh, with Seven Trent Water at how, that's, uh, how it's happened. But it does appear that uh, a discharge of cyanide um, must have gone into the sewage works and so the sewage works has only partially treated the, um, the effluent and that's what's led to the contamination of the, of the river. And it's had a devastating effect on the river, hasn't it? Low levels of cyanide do have uh, a high impact on the aquatic life and we've been doing extensive work in monitoring uh, the... The, uh, the impact, uh, working through the night to get chemicals into the river to try and help the breakdown. Um, and we've had staff working sort of around the clock for the last 48 hours. Um, slowly we're seeing the levels come down. As a precaution, we have put out a message to advise people to keep uh, dogs and uh, stock away from the river, but I stress that that is a precaution. It's not a human health issue. Uh, this, water, this river is not a drinking water river. Um, but as a precaution, because of the impact on uh, aquatic life, we think it's best to stay away from the river. The Environment Agency have been taking samples up and down the river. What else have they been doing to try and dilute this contamination? Yes, well, uh, we, we have been taking extensive samples and we've been trying to pump some chemicals in to expedite the uh, breakdown of the, of, the, of the chemicals there. But uh, slowly we're seeing, um, we're seeing levels drop uh, to, to levels that aren't going to be toxic to fish. Um, and the other side is that we're gathering that evidence to look at where the perpetrator um, is uh, and if we can gather, gather the necessary evidence then uh, we will look towards taking proceedings against the person or people who've caused this problem. OK, David Lowe from the Environment Agency, thank you. Well, the investigation into what caused this, as David said, is ongoing. But for now, the advice is very clear. Stay away from the River Trent in Staffordshire. Thanks very much. Thank you. Much more coming up, of course, from midday. We'll uh, have a look at the weather prospects right now, though. Thomas is back with us, looking a bit wet for some people. Yeah, well, I'm not looking a bit wet. <laughs> Certainly is looking a bit wet for some others. Uh, it's, I tell you, it's been quite a, quite a wet morning for, 